Welcome to another day of motorhome happiness. So as you can see, we're staying in rather a, a foresty area. Loads and loads of midges. I got bitten on my knee about six times last night. Um, so Mark's cleaning them all off the windscreen there. And also, so when we're videoing as we're going along, you get a better view. It's not all uh, blood splattered. There. I think he's done a reasonable job. So we're leaving this lovely site at Cappy and yep. we're, we're heading for Amiens this morning. It's not too far, is it? No, not at all. But I would highly rate this site. As you can see from the images, there's lots of little secluded, I say, I say secluded, private little areas covered by hedging, sort of beach and hazel hedging. That was ours, number eight to the left there. Um, it's right by a lake. Um, were lots of midges and mosquitoes last night. We went for a bike ride, as you saw, and you had to bike ride with your mouth shut, otherwise you'd eat half of them. Um, but it was, it's been really, really pleasant, quite quiet. Toilets and showers, when were they open from? July to August. <laughs> so, yeah, but they've got electric hookups. It was 11 euros for the night. Um, there's fresh water on site, there's toilet emptying facilities. So you, you've got absolutely everything you would, you would need to hope for. So yeah, on our road, on the road to Amiens now, and off we go. So this is the camping car system. You drive up, um, you should already have pre-charged your card. If you haven't, there is a facility to buy a card, and then you just tap said card. There it is, against the terminal there. So you tap in, tap out. Gazole, <coughs> which I've researched, and that's diesel, or Gazole Premium, which probably is exactly the same thing, and they just charge a bit more for it. What are we going to go for? I wonder. So it's 164 per litre. Per litre. So it's not too bad. Saying is we're in a, well, a pretty much near a city, aren't we? So. Okay. Maybe we'll just fill up. So we're good to get home. Yep. Sounds good to me. Okay, so another quick tip. We've just parked up in the centre of Amiens, um, but we need to leave. We've parked over two spaces, so we've got two tickets, but we want to shut the blinds. Um, just to stop prying eyes so what we're going to do is just use a little bit of sticky tape and we'll stick the tickets the parking tickets the outside of the window so we can then close the blind and keep secure i'm going to find the sticky tape so we used a plaster instead but hopefully i'll have the same end result as you can see we're parked in a, a reasonably tight bay here right on the side of the main road but um, you know should all be good and Margot should be safe and sound for when we come back to an indoor market and the produce is incredible oh, my favorite right there tabouleh wow all the salad produce uh, pork pie game pie kebabs look at these cheeses Sarah let you see you salivating at the moment. Wow. Goat's cheese. Mozzarella camembert. Just everything. All of the meats, kebabs, chicken. Look at the fresh fruit. An incredible space. It's lovely presented. So we're in the sort of centre of Amiens and we've come across this market, Sarah found on Google Maps. Um, pate, salads, oh, I think we've got lunch sorted, haven't we? <laughs> well and truly.
sandwich shop. Massive sandwiches, aren't they? Well, about, must be about a foot, at least mm. a foot long. There's mine. Half eaten, I must admit. But we're um, having a quick nosh, but sat in a lovely part of the town, or the city, just trying to take in some of the, the pavement culture. few hours, two hours, three hours, three hours, three, yeah. walking around um, Hamion. Uh, we're just coming back now. Like, as you can see, we parked Margot at the side of the road, as we explained earlier. It was slightly risky, not knowing if we can or we can't, but she's still there, so that's the first part. Second part is hopefully nobody's taken any wing mirrors off or stuck any you can't park here stickers. So um, if ever you do come to a city like this, uh, and you can find a big enough space. We're seven and a half meters. Um, oh, the tickets are still in the window and everything looks good. So yeah, if you do come to a city like this, you know, it looks like you can park quite happily as long as you can find a decent enough space. Well, we survived. So far. We were entertained at the traffic lights. Let's see what else Amiens holds. try to pronounce it this is where we are well here we are at our third camping car site Ailey sur noir I think that's how you say it it's a very basic site it's costing us 13 euros for the night but as you can see we've got a hard standing and we've got electric hookup and I think there are six of these pictures here only another one's being used it's a fantastic area. Across there, we'll take you later on today, is a boating lake and all sorts of things for children to do. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can hear the cuckoo. And in the distance there, we've got a church, une église, and some French cows down here looks like a, a nice cycle path so who knows maybe after something to eat tonight we'll go and explore down there. One of those. No, uh, uh, say it again. No. Because this looked like an idiot. So this place is called Ailey Sur Noy. Okay. Maybe what we'll put say? it up on the screen. Yes. Um, yeah, with a, with a what three words, because it's a really lovely location, it's really nice. Um, it's very basic, it is an air, but it has got electric hookup, it's got toilet waste disposal, it's got water. But I think um, when we first started this trip, or started thinking about this trip, we were a bit hung up, weren't we, about planning ahead? I was very nervous. Yeah. Um, how do you feel now? Yeah, better, knowing that we can sort of pre-book some yeah. of the sites and knowing what you're going to get and we haven't been robbed yet nobody's attacked us yet somebody tried to drive into us today oh my god but apart from that um <laughs> uh yes so so i think we've learned first and foremost as everybody without fail told us um you don't need to book ahead you don't you don't need to book ahead but you can if, if it helps yeah like you can me. yeah 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 um so one app that we have started using more than others is Camping Car Park. Mm -hmm. um, it's about, about 12 euros a night, really. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> so it's about 12 euros a night. Sorry, the wind just blew the camera over there. 
You um, never pay more than 14 euros. That's the top price. Yeah. And, and we've paid between the 11 and the 14. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think so. Um, they are air-like sites. They've got power. They've got toilet water. I've said that before anyway. Um, but what you can do is you can go onto the app and they've got about 400 odd sites around the whole of France and you can just see if they've got space at these sites uh, and if they have you can book it if you want to wing it and, and hope for the best you can just go straight down there uh, and uh, as we've done today it wouldn't let us book it Take two. We've moved indoors. We've moved indoors. It's a lovely sunny day outside, but it's really windy. So we've had to put the awning away and um, and just relocate. So we've got the windows open, got a bit of a breeze. We're not going to melt. So that's a good thing. Anyway, we were talking about the air here. Um, yeah, it's just the it's on the camping car park. It's nice. You can probably see behind us lots of green fields. There's a lake over there. Um, cows over there. Cows over there train track over there and the village as well so there's lots of amenities within a, a short distance um so sarah mentioned the name earlier and we've um, we've put up a what three words anyway so you know what to do um so that was the first thing so we've we've really learned that yet yeah, we can camp without having planned ahead haven't we yeah that's that's been really mm -hmm. important what else have we learned that french drivers are lunatics well not all of them i can't say that <laughs> you can't say that. I just did. No. Um, yeah, in Amiens today, it's been a bit bonkers. I've got to be honest. Mm. Um, we were heading straight down the road uh, and a car literally came from the left and just went like that. If I hadn't have stopped, he would have just hit us straight on. Now, we're not a small motorhome. We're reasonably large. We're not the colour of the sky or buildings. Um, but the individual, I literally had to slam on the anchors and swerve right. Uh, fortunately, there was space to do so um otherwise that would have been a nasty mm. and then we had other ones we pulled up at a i think it was a crossroads yeah we were going to turn left um i'd left a gap in front of us because right in front of us was the bus lane so i'd left a gap there and um a guy in a volvo just came around the outside and just parked on the bus lane just nudged in in front of me ready to turn so low-key stuff but you just got to be on your metal expect the unexpected expect the unexpected absolutely but what we have learned from it all is that if you go into town centers um and you're using a reasonable sat nav you can find places to park um as i explained earlier you saw we bought the two tickets we parked in that bay and that was fine um maybe more luck than by judgment that we found it mm -hmm. but we also did the same when we showed you when we went to where were we the other day Lille? in Lille, we managed to park in next to the park there so you can do it you just got to be like sarah said expect the unexpected you know be on your metal mm -hmm. to to find out um what else have we learned i think we've learned that the the parts of france where we have been are stunningly beautiful and again i, I use mm -hmm. the phrase too often but surpass my expectation um beautiful landscapes we've been blessed with the weather i don't think we've had a day where we've seen a cloud we haven't had a day when there's been any rain or anything like that at all so we've been really lucky um so that the countryside what else the food is about the same price as in the uk it is yeah yeah probably fresher yeah well you've seen from what we posted earlier in that indoor market with all the the fresh fish mm. the meats the salads um just incredible we've got a load of it in the fridge actually we bought we'll show you later um so we're having a, a super healthy tea which would be nice um the food's good um the architecture's good so if whether you love your countryside your architecture your history um driving distances large cities small towns um we've tried where possible to do them all on this trip and i don't think we've had a bad experience yet really have we no no it's been really pleasant What's been your highlight, do you think, so far? Seeing the unicyclist juggling <laughs> the traffic lights. That we've got the countryside, hilarious. we've got the history, we've got everything else going on, but... Yeah. Should we... Okay, we'll post it now so you can you can have a look at it. This was us driving out of Amiens, Amiens 
and this was the site that we saw as we were at that 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 crossing um the guy's an absolute lunatic but but fair play to him so that's been your highlight so far <laughs> how about that for entertainment french style so we're going to leave it there for now. I think we're going to have a bite to eat. Then we might do a bit of exploring on the bikes, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. See what's out and about. Um, yeah, let's let's see what we can find, and we'll we'll let you know what we see. So we've gone for a little walk around the lake. Mark didn't want to stop and see the geese, no, I didn't just want in you case to get they took a liking to him. But you to get attacked by the gander.